and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 1st through September 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. We are in kind of the final quarter of this year. Holy moly. It's moving fast, but also very slow. So it really has been the year of change. And I'm just sending you all my love and hope that the challenges you've been going through are helping you to grow and expand and kind of break out of your comfort zone. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Um, this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below um, to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can definitely read about um, the benefits, read the testimonials, and you'll see I have a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful um, for you in some way. Uh, you'll also see the link. I do very limited few number of personal readings. If it says sold out, you'll just have to check back. I've been uh, really not pulled to doing a lot of those lately. So I have to just trust that. I really do the readings when I feel called to. So um, thank you for your patience and understanding with that. And I think that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for September 1st through September 15th, 2020. I already fully shuffled, so let's just get into it for you guys. Libra, in regards to love. Okay, Libras, first up, we've got Six of Pentacles. I immediately felt like the message was you're about to receive a gift or you are receiving a gift in your life. So this could be um, from a friend, from a lover, from a family member, a spiritual gift, like you're, you're receiving something here. And I almost feel that this gift may be you've reached a point where you're tipping the scales of relationships, friendships, um, things and people around your life that have had an imbalance. Um, when I say imbalance, I'm talking about the energy, the effort, the time, the energy put into those specific relationships, friendships, romantic partnerships, whatever resonates with you. Yeah, you've reached a tipping point. I, I just heard that twice. And the scales here are balancing out. So the gift that you're receiving, I feel, is really stepping into owning your boundaries, which is not always easy for a Libra, especially, you know, we love to help out and be there and um, can sometimes be guilty of people pleasing. And until we learn those boundaries to really please ourselves first, and then our cup is more full to give out. Um, to those around us and just having healthier relationships all around you. The reason I feel that is ending for you is because of this Ten of Swords here. If you have been known to overgive or give when you shouldn't be giving or something along those lines, I feel that's what's ending for you. The feeling of feeling underappreciated or not acknowledged um, can lead to dishonesty in relationships, friendships, etc. Et um, that something's ending for you. And you're receiving a gift, which is really beautiful. So something is ending, and because of that ending, which I feel it's ending because you've been doing the work, you've been looking within, you've been showing up for yourself. And, you know, I mentioned in the intro, this is a year of change. Things that are not working in our lives anymore, we cannot pretend anymore. So I feel like this is actually a really positive card to be out here for you because you're done with being, you're done with feeling this way. Stabbed in the back, underappreciated, taken advantage of, you know, people who don't see your value, don't see your worth. Um, you know, the bigger lesson in that is that has to start within. And I feel that is the tipping point. You are seeing your value and your worth. And you're getting more in tune with that higher part of yourself here with the high priestess. And I almost feel Libra's like you're having one of those realizations like, 
really, this was inside of me all along. All I had to do was like honor myself and tune in and speak up about my boundaries. Like that's all I had to do. Why did I waste the last however many years not doing that? So you're really connected within right now and you're following your own heart, your own soul. I feel like you're also less worried about what others think or others' opinions right now. You're just really tuning into you. Wow, what a powerful start to the reading, Libras. Let me see what else I've got for you. All right, so because of this place that you're in, you have reached a point. The, the hanged man to me is like the comfortably stuck energy. Like you're comfortable here in your own skin, doing your thing, minding your own business. I feel that's where you've gotten to. And I notice all the brightness up here kind of around the third eye and the crown area. So this kind of links back into the high priestess in feeling like you're really just connected to yourself right now. And you have, you're leaving behind. So some of you may still be going through this and you're still getting those lessons um, because it's a process. It's not like one day you wake up and it's just, you're there. Like it definitely is a process. So in these next couple of weeks, you really could be still or reevaluating things in your life that are just not fulfilling for you. You're leaving those behind. You're ready to kind of leave behind what's not fulfilling. And we do have the full moon in Pisces, I think on September 2nd or 3rd. And I'm noticing the moon up here and the cups representing water, which Pisces is a water sign. So you're really gonna be like cleaning up your emotional state, I feel. Because you're more in tune with yourself, you're more aware of the emotions that feel good, that don't feel good, that trigger you in a specific way, people that trigger you, all of that. And I feel with this Knight of Swords energy, like it's going to be fast moving. You're going to see the lesson, get it, and move forward. You're going to see the lesson, get it, and move forward. And I also don't really see you worrying too much. Did I already say that about what others are going to think or their opinion of you and these changes? I think you're just literally at your tipping point and you're doing you. Yeah, okay, Libra, these couple weeks are really like a transition couple weeks for you, I feel. I've also got the Six of Swords out here with the Five of Wands. Six of Swords is just confirming what I've been saying earlier about this Eight of Cups, leaving behind what's not emotionally fulfilling for you anymore. But I feel like this is really beautiful because you're also leaving behind what is not um, mentally or intellectually fulfilling for you anymore. You're leaving behind thoughts, beliefs, patterns that aren't in alignment with your higher good. And you see these rough waters down here, you're moving towards smoother waters. And it's interesting because in the shuffling, I'm asking about Libra in regards to love, but I feel this reading is very specific to you as the individual. These are lessons that you have to go through because you're at that tipping point. So on the other side of the tipping point is where the new beginnings are gonna be. So watch where you still may have a little bit of chaotic thinking while you're going through some of this. It is always very uncomfortable to stretch past your limits, to do something different than maybe you've been doing for the last 10, 20, 30, 40 plus years, okay? Changing a pattern like that is not easy. Um, but you believe in yourself. I feel like your connection to yourself is so strong that that is overpowering the desire to stay the same. And then the last card out, Libra, look at how amazing this is. Ace of Swords. Brand new beginning, either brand new love, brand new relationships, brand new fresh slate, clean piece of paper, whatever you want to call it. 
You know, the Ace of Swords cuts through any BS and it brings clarity, truth, and a new beginning. So you're kind of cleaning out the closet here, Libra. And I feel this is really paving the way for you to have that love, have what it is that you desire and that you wish for. So for those of you Libras who are involved with somebody in a relationship or dating, this is still going to apply to you with working on the self, with shedding those layers. It could be that the person that you're involved with is helping you to clear some of this, to see your value, to see your worth. And those of you who are in situations with people who are helping you to see that they do not deserve your time, that they do not deserve your energy, you're cleaning that up as well. Okay, I'm just going to clarify a little bit here, even though these messages feel very clear to me. Okay, what do I want to clarify? Yeah, okay, so in clarifying the Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, look at you taking back your power and choosing what it is you want. You're in the driver's seat here, Libra. I feel, you know, you are taking your life in your own hands. None of this doing things for others when it's not reciprocated. Like, I really just see a healthy, healthy balance here moving forward for you. Beautiful. So I'm asking, what is this all leading you towards? Kind of clarifying this Ace of Swords. And look at you get the Strength card and the Sun card. I told you, Libras, this is the tipping point for you to truly have it all. Happiness, joy, love, boundaries, inner strength, connection, clarity. I mean, the, the Sun card can really represent like a honeymoon phase also. So, you know, new love coming in, new romance. Just really feel good energies. Really feel good energies. Which I love this. So I've got Leo out here. Actually, both these cards can represent Leo. So we've got a lot of Leo energy. That's really the only sign that I'm feeling. Because again, I think a lot of these cards were speaking directly to you. I feel that quite strongly. You're at your tipping point, Libra. How exciting. Okay, let me see what the last message is for you here. Beautiful. We've got trust. This is you trusting yourself, Libra. Finally, maybe for some of you, truly for the first time in your life, like really trusting the inner you, the inner knowledge that you feel, that inner wisdom. Very, very powerful connection to yourself here, Libra. You may even find yourself not wanting to ask for support or guidance from friends, family, none of that. You're just literally um, trusting yourself right now, which is always what's going to lead you to the highest and best, right? When you start bringing in the energies, opinions, thoughts, and feelings of others to decisions and the direction of your life, that can get very messy. Because people will project onto you their own fears and limits, and it will make you question what you're feeling pulled to. So this is why it's so important to really have that secrecy within your life with, you know, things that you're doing and, and what you're up to. You know that saying, mind your own business and keep your business close? There's a reason for that. Okay, let me get you a spirit message animal here. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, your spirit animal message is Puffin, partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy breeder. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. This is so beautiful, Libra. I feel like this partnership is really you with the partnership with yourself first. 
from there, it will branch out into friendships, romance, business things, family situations. But that partnership that you have with yourself has to be strong, solid, balanced, knowing your boundaries, knowing your worth. That is a huge lesson for you guys. So I love, I love this. And how cute are they? Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. That is, there is a confidence that you will exude when you truly trust who you are, what you want, your inner feelings, and you are guided by that in your life. So that's a really powerful last message for you, Libras. I hope that resonates for you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Um, definitely leave me comments below the video. I do love to read your comments. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy, healing, and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years now. So all the information is on the website below. You can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials page and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it Libras. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to September. And I will see you back here for the second half of September readings. Take care.